everyone welcome back to my channel so today I have a haul from up north creations and this is a vendor that I've heard like small things here and there not a lot but I did hear some small things and I was watching um, someone else's channel for the love of sense uh, I recommend her channel she does like haul videos and wax review videos similar kind of um, channel as me and I was watching her haul multiple times from this vendor so I just decided to try this vendor out for their Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. She was having a 45% off sale and I was like, wow, that is a huge discount. Or was it 40% off? I forgot which one it was, but yeah, it was basically a huge discount. I'm just like, all right, well, I guess I have to try them now. So yeah, so here is the Her card. It says Up North Creations and it has a cute little house cabin sort of thing and it's like snowy so uh, she did include a pack of small like jelly beans with the order which is really nice so thank you so much I'll just put this stuff back here and she gave me four samples which is really generous so thank you so much um, the first sample I have here is autumn leaves and something I love is that she includes scent notes with her items which is always so helpful um, of course a pour date would be nice as well but I you know scent notes I just really appreciate it just makes my job so much easier so musky with heavy notes of bergamot a very cute little pause Mmm. Yeah, this is excellent. So, the name is a little bit deceiving. Um, you see autumn leaves and you think of autumn, fall leaves, but this smells like a very nice bergamot scent. Bergamot smells... I don't know if it's part of the citrus family or not, but it's, it has a similar kind of tone to that, and it's just a little bit musky, so I really like this. The next sample I got here is in peppermint. Now you can never have too much peppermint scents. I always use peppermint, so this is great to have a powerful minty fresh peppermint. Another one of these little paw shapes. Mmm. Yeah, this is a really nice peppermint. It is nice and strong and minty, so this is perfect. And these small shapes I can use for blending, so that's nice. The next sample I have here is in Holiday Bouquet, and it, this is poinsettias and Christmas cactus with a hint of pine. So that smells, that smells, that sounds perfect for Christmas. Mmm, wow. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. So this is a very nice, fresh, um, sort of Christmassy blend. The point poinsettias are really good. It I don't know what they normally smell like usually, but it adds like a Christmassy note to that fresh like Christmas cactus kind of scent and pine. This is really really good. I really like this. But don't be afraid. The pine in here is not super strong, but you can smell it. But it is not super strong. So I really like this one. The next one I have here is an orange chiffon cake. Orange citrus blended with hazelnut, vanilla, and maple syrup. And these are like the cutest little um, piggy wax melts. Hmm. So for this one, I can smell the oranges. It is like a bakery kind of orange with that vanilla. It almost... Um, even though cake is not listed as a note in this um, this um, scent note description, it smells like cake, even though it's not in the description. But yeah, it is nice and sweet. I don't smell much hazelnut, but it just smells like a creamy orange kind of cake. Okay, so that was all the samples, which is always generous and nice, so thank you. And uh, something else that I bought was uh, this little wax cutter. Um, I usually use the... the cheese board wax cutter with the fishing line but I wanted to pick one of these up because the cheese board wax cutter I normally use it doesn't fit loaves as well as I would like it to so I feel like this one would be perfect for loaf topping. I'll just put that here. 
All right, so let's get started. So uh, let's start with the scent shots I got. So the first one I got here is in Blue Raz. All right, it's not focusing on what I wanted to. Okay, Blue Raspberry Candy, which is sugary raspberry and tart blackberry. So I love artificial candy kind of scents, so this one was perfect. Yeah, and that's exactly what it smells like. Your typical blue raspberry kind of scent. It reminds me of the slushy, so really, really nice. The next scent shot I have here is in hot chocolate. Scent notes here are... Oh, this one doesn't have the scent notes. Huh. This one just has like a warning label on them. So I wonder if this this is older or newer. I'm not quite sure, but I mean, this scent is pretty self-explanatory, hot chocolate, so. Oh. This smells exactly like hot chocolate. Hot chocolate mix, like, like if you just opened a bag of hot chocolate and you just sniffed it, this is exactly what it smells like. So I can't wait to warm this. Okay, so moving on. So next I got these, um, this is a four ounce pack of these little like breakaway bars. And I love these bars. I mean, I love anything that makes my job easier. And this is perfect. Each stick is one ounce. So I normally melt around 0.5 ounces. So it's just easy just to break off two squares and just melt. If I wanted more, I could. So yeah, this is... Really, really nice. I love shapes like these. Um, and this scent is in Juniper Breeze, which is lavender, rosemary, lemon, lime, and juniper berry. So this is really up my alley. I love juniper scents. Oops. Mm. Yeah, and this is really nice. This is basically a nice, fresh juniper kind of scent. This almost smells like fresh crisp air this is what that smells like so yes okay the next one i have here um but these are two ounces instead is in cucumber melon and this is crisp fresh melons with slice of cucumber now this is the bath and body works type i discovered i really like this scent and so i wanted to pick up more and yeah let's see if it smells like the bath and body works type Mmm, yeah, and it smells exactly like the Bath and Body Works one. I really like this. I don't know why I only picked up one, but this is exactly like that smell. It's fresh, it's cucumbery-ish. Um, it's really hard to describe cucumber melon as a scent, but I think most people already know what it smells like, but this is just excellent. I love it. Next one I have here is in Lemon Pound Cake. Um, and they're... Um, two ounce breakaway bars and description is fresh baked buttery pound cake with a sweet icing topped with tart lemon zest now i love lemon bakery scents and so i just picked this one up couldn't go wrong with that mm. yeah and that is exactly what it is it is a creamy lemon it's sweet but not overly sweet just the perfect balance between lemon and cake The next one I have here is in Citrus Odor Eliminator. Scent notes are a blend of lemon and orange combined with fresh grapefruit. I love citrusy scents. I love grapefruit. I love lemon. Anything citrusy I love and so I needed to pick this one up. Mmm. Yeah, that is so good. Now, I smell a lot of the grapefruit mainly, but you can definitely smell like other citrusy um, scents in there as well, but this one is so good. This is a great summer kind of scent and not necessarily astringent because I think when people read this um, scent name, they think it's very cleaner lemon or too astringent, but I don't think it is. I think it's a very nice summery fruity citrus scent. So yeah. The next one I have here is in Gingerbread Cookie. Scent notes are ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg topped with sugar and rich vanilla. Mmm. Hmm. Now, um, 
I feel like this scent doesn't exactly smell like gingerbread cookies to me. It has like a slight weird saltiness and stale bread scent note to it. I wasn't really expecting that. Normally gingerbread cookies don't really smell like this to me. Uh, but we'll see on warm if um, if it changes or not. But so far this one's not my favorite and not really what I expected. Okay, the next one I have here is uh, a different thing. These are like a four pack of squares each I don't remember how much this weighs, but I think each one is perfect for one melt. Um, and this one is in Rice Krispie Treats, which is sweet and creamy whipped marshmallow, Rice Krispies, vanilla, and sugar. Hmm. Now this one is not super strong on cold. Uh, that can change on warm, of course, but yeah, this doesn't really smell like Rice Krispie Treats to me. I don't know. I feel like this almost has like a slight chocolate note to it. Um, so I don't know how I feel about this one. Uh, not really what I was expecting. Not super strong and cold either, but yeah, we'll, we'll see on warm. Okay, and the last one I have here, I got two packs of, and this is in... Sinus Relief uh, says it's similar or smells very similar to Vicks. So, you know, this kind of scent you always need stocked in your house kind of thing. It's perfect when you get sick or a little stuffy. And so I bought two packs of these. Mmm. Yeah, and this smells uh, like... Like Vicks, it has like a slight menthol note, like pepperminty, very minty menthol. There is a slight tone that's a little bit off and not exactly like Vicks. It is similar, not exact, but um, yeah, but also not super nose clearing. Or it is a nose clearing scent, but it doesn't give you that icy cold feeling. That's what I meant. But this will be nice regardless, so yes. So that is my order from Up North Creations. Um, I'm fine. I'm very happy to finally place an order. Uh, I <laughs> have a couple more orders coming in from Black Friday, but after that, I really need to go on a ban. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching my channel. I'll catch you guys in my next video. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know if you guys have tried Up North Creations. What you guys think. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching.